Hey, well, welcome to my new studio setup. And the reason this space now looks like this is because a friend of mine is making more YouTube videos and told me about a course called Dream Studio, which is all about setting up what the instructor calls visual hospitality for those you want to watch your videos. I discovered a very interesting thing about myself in the process of setting up the studio, which was I have never bought a plant in my entire life. And as I was looking at all these studios and how to create visual hospitality, I realized that having plants in the background was something that really works to create a sense of, to create an environment that's welcoming and nurturing. So I went with my wife to a local nursery and started looking to pick out plants. And I've, I've never owned a plant. I just don't like, I don't even like having pets. I don't like having living things I have to take care of. I'm much more into taking care of my ideas and relationship with people, performance. I just don't want to be bothered with taking care of, of living things. Um, don't ask my children what that experience has been like, although I have improved uh, tremendously over the years, I think. But in any case, I went and I bought a plant, and here you see two of my lovely plants. But along with the discovery of given the, given, being given the instruction to create visual hospitality for others, I realized how beneficial it is for me to create visual hospitality for myself. So I've totally remade my office space here, and I've never taken the trouble to create an environment that just feels so good to be in. And I am just loving being in my office right now and looking forward to getting to film because I'm in a beautiful space as opposed to my default, which is just to kind of let it be uh, however it haphazardly winds up being. So, and then I had this thought, which is in this course, the mandate to create visual hospitality is so similar to storytelling. And the instructor in the course says, if you only remember one thing about your videos, I want you to remember this one key concept, and that is depth, the importance of depth. So you can see here, I'm in a space where I'm in the foreground, I'm in focus, and then there's this soft, cinematic, focused, or unfocused background. So you get that feeling of depth. You get the feeling that we're looking at a landscape of details here, but there's one piece that's being called out. And this very same thing is true in stories. The beauty of a good story is that it has the same kind of depth. Often there's a real contrast between two things that happen, or maybe a contrast between what you expected was going to happen and what actually happens. When you're telling a story, you're responsible for giving people a welcoming, uh, a, an opening to a scene of some kind, a, a, the landscape of a scene, and then you are calling forth into focus some element of that scene that's interesting, that will be useful to the person, that will enrich them in some way. So I found that a very curious metaphor that when it comes to filming and doing uh, videos, depth is the key thing and the same thing is true in storytelling. We don't want just to bring one thing into focus. We want to describe the whole scene, but then bring that one thing out and bring it to uh, into crystal clear clarity for the person to look at, consider, enjoy, or learn from. So there you go. Uh, my very first video here in my new studio. I'm so excited to do more of these. And uh, this is part of the 52V Challenge Club. So there's a group of us who are Pivot to the Podium community members. 
we have all agreed to post one video a week for an entire year, thus the 52V for 52 videos, and this is going to be amazing. We're all on fire to, to get our videos going, and hopefully um, maybe we'll share some of them here it, right in my newsletter. I'm not sure, or I'm on my YouTube channel, but at least you're going to see mine every single week, and my plan is that they continue to provide depth and uh, visual and auditory and sensory hospitality to you as I produce them and they hopefully get better. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.